Hi, this is Chris Davis of Slashka, and I'm here with Craig Hendrickson from iRobot. We're going to talk about the company's new robots. Yeah, so we brought with us some of the newest robots we have uh, available in Europe, so all launched this year. Uh, we're very excited about all of these. Uh, I can talk through all of them, but we have two of our new Scubas. Okay. And uh, for those that are familiar, I know you're familiar with our Roombas. Uh, you covered our 700 series last year, which was new, our top of the line. Uh, well, with Scuba, it's a little bit newer. Um, this was based off of the Roomba technology. We said, okay, now we've, we've solved the problem, which is um, you know, vacuuming floors for people. That's something they don't like doing. What else in the home might we be able to solve with robotic technology? And right. mopping was the next test. So uh, with Scuba, what we launched this year was the brand new 390, which you see here. This is about the same size as Roomba. And as opposed to vacuuming, this mops the floor. And I'll, I'll show you how this works. Basically, you fill it up with water. And, the, and basically what this does is it has a four-stage cleaning. This stage here basically picks up any loose debris. So if you left a Cheerio on the floor or something, right. uh, it'll take care of that. It's not a full featured vacuum, but it does, you know, if you have hair on the floor or something like that, it'll be fine. What this does is sprays water down on the floor here, right? This spins at about 1200 RPM and scrubs the floor. Mm -hmm. And then the squeegee here has a vacuum behind it that sucks all the dirty water back up into the robot. Right. So it's kind of four stage cleaning, really cool, mops your floor for you. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's our brand new 390, and uh, this this just launched in, in March. And at the same time, we introduced um, this guy here. This little guy is about half the size, as you can see, half the diameter. This is what we call the Scuba 230. Right. When we launched our original Scuba, people said, hey, this is cool, mm -hmm. but you know, if you have like a small flat in, in, uh, in London or something like that, you're saying, this might be a little too big for like a bathroom or something, right? right. So we said, great for larger rooms. What about for those places that are harder to reach or like in your bathroom, maybe you don't want to reach like next to your toilet, right? Right, okay. <laughs> so this is what the intent was for the Scuba 230. Right. And as you can see, small, very easy to use, same idea. You just kind of fill it up with water here at the sink. Okay. Put it down, hit clean, it runs around and mops your floor for you. And then when you're done, all you do is take this here, take it to the sink, empty it out. Pour out the other side. Pretty much good to go. As far as cleanup, it, it really couldn't be easier. You just pop this thing off, you can mm -hmm. take it to the sink, rinse it off, you can replace these as these as they wear out. Brilliant. Really just very simple mm -hmm. and uh, does a great job in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. And then the last thing we have here is um, uh, a member of our new Roomba Series 600, which is just launched just uh, just this um, this month, and um, this represents a refresh to our entry level lineup. So right. while you covered the 700 series, our top of the line, mm -hmm. our 500 series, we wanted to take some of the technology that we had put into the 700 series of learnings there and really up the ante on the on the entry level as well. So this, some of the um, improvements we made to the cleaning system, we were able to incorporate into this one as well as give it a nice uh, facelift. Right. So this is uh, this is a brand new series. This is the top of the 600 series line. Uh, they start at around 3, 329 euro and go up to 499. Okay. And uh, we're pretty excited about this refresh as well. Okay, so what does this have, say, that the previous version didn't have? What, what exactly have you brought down from the high-end devices to um, to this version? Mm -hmm. Other than the look here, I'll, I'll point out a couple things. First of all, is um, we've brought over um, a new brush design, which does a much better uh, job at um, resisting hair buildup. So, you know, resist hair getting in the gear, so you're, it'll last longer, it's better better for pets, this sort mm -hmm. of thing. And then we've also added in AeroVac technology, which what, what that does is um, it's better airflow, it helps you pack more dirt into, mm -hmm. into the bin, and generally just helps uh, it clean better overall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, can you maybe tell us a bit about what iRobot sees coming down the line in home robotics? Sure, yeah. So the mantra for our home business, especially for uh, basically since we started selling robots, was we want to make practical robots to solve those jobs around the home that people don't like doing. Uh, maybe they're dirty, dangerous, etc. So we've already started looking at other applications. For example, um, we have products that clean out your gutter, makes, makes it so you don't fall down you know, the stairs when you're trying to clean out your, uh, the ladder when you're trying to clean your gutters. We okay. have a pool cleaning robot. And what we look at is, is those kinds of applications say, look, we've already identified some great, great uh, tasks that we can complete with robotics. Where can we go else? And so that's really how we focus our attentions. And you can expect some new applications there as well. That's brilliant. And where can people find you online? iRobot.com is the easiest way to find us online. We have all information about these as well as uh, lots of great information about our other side of the business too, which is in the research and defense side. So really great information. Um, it's really fun to play around too. That's great. Thanks very much for talking to us. No problem.